very much and good evening everyone. Thank you for spending your time with us this evening. The role of a city councilor is to set policies such as establish ordinances, to set and establish the tax rate, to hire or fire the city manager, and oversee the clerk's office and the auditor's office. The major elements of a balanced budget is one that preserves and maintains public safety, maintains a level of sufficient city services, and spends only to the extent as to the revenues that come in. That is how you create a balanced budget. Although it's easy to say cut the fat in the budget, there's a lot of unforeseen factors to be considered. We can let employees go and create avoided services, or we can wait until people retire and not fill the position. There is another factor in the mix. There are fixed costs in every city, and they have little control over, such as utility costs, health insurance, snow and ice, a decline in local aid, and unforeseen expenses, street cave-ins, cemetery wall collapses, and in, in school, uh, like such as the school street uh, cemetery wall that fell. During my past tenure, through my vote, I supported an arena enterprise. That fund, we paid $1.5 million each year, but now we're just paying off the debt. By fiscal year 2012, we will retire $17.9 million in debt. We have improved our bond rating service from A3 to A1 and went from a negative status to stable. That's the direction the city is going, and I'm proud to be a part of it. And with your help, you'll allow me to stay. I'm number five on the ballot. Thank you very much. The city is run on the schedule policy of taking in money. My role as a counselor is to oversee how that money is spent and how it should be used and the best services for the residents of this city. In the past two years, I have, through my vote, proved that we could provide services in a cost-effective and efficient manner by supporting the manager when he negotiated with 14 to 17 unions to obtain health care concessions by eliminating Master Medical. That net agreement saved a million dollars and will be a half a million dollars per year thereafter. Revenues can be realized in the city by increasing the fines as we did in recycling subcommittee last week. If you want to litter our streets with bulk trash, we want your revenue. We just increased the fine from 25 to $100. That's a start to those who destroy our city. The good citizens will reap the benefits and those that destroy will pay. It's time we reward the people who obey the law and find those that don't. Thank you.